Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to generate bulk Gmail accounts and you can use these for, you know, in sneakers, we can use them for raffle botting and making one clicks. However, if you are a scammer or whatever, you can use that for anything you need to do. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to use the tool PVA Creator to make Gmail accounts. It's very simple and it's a great piece of software. It makes it as easy as possible for you to actually make them and you can do it in bulk. So first of all, I'm just going to talk about the price of PVA tool. Um, I don't own it or anything. However, they have given me a copy to review. There are three kind of different models you can have with PVA tool. There's the creator, the forwarder, and the bundle. So today, I only have the creator, uh, which is $22 a month. And there's the forwarder, which is $14 a month. But the bundle is $33 a month. We only have the creator here. Um, the budget doesn't stretch that far. Obviously, if you want to help increase the budget for these videos, be sure to drop a like. You know, help out in the YouTube algorithm, that would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, that's kind of the pricing for a tool like this. And I think that is very reasonable. It's, I mean, it's less than a cook group fee, essentially. And, you know, these Gmails, you, you can make money with these, right? So the uses of these Gmails, like I said, you can use them for raffle botting. So you can use these yourself. So you generate them and you use them. You can use them for one clicks. So you can generate them, you know, farm them in AYCD. I've done a video on that up there somewhere. But you can also sell them, right? So you could sell them as one clicks after you farmed them. You can sell them as raffle Gmails in bulk. I think that's a very reasonable fee considering the amount of money you can actually make using this software. I think that's pretty good. So before we start and actually like go through the software and how to specifically use it, there's two things you need. And I nearly did three. There's two things you need. You need proxies. Now, this is probably the most important thing. And I'm not going to actually kind of promote any of my sponsors there because... There's not really one provider that you can just name and tell everyone to go to because it will get clipped. Essentially, you need to get some private DCs, normal DCs, or resis with a huge subnet, and that'll be the best. Again, they have mentioned in their guide, because they've got kind of a guide in their Discord, that actually most expensive private, you know, sneaker proxies won't necessarily work if they are flagged by Google. You kind of have to do your own testing for that. It's annoying, but... If I just tell you to go to one place, it won't work. Obviously, in the description, there'll be some providers that I recommend and I'm probably using. But it is what it is. You're just going to have to find DCs and a big ready subnet and try it out. See what works for you. But yeah, that's probably the most significant thing. Make sure you have proxies that work and then you can really go into creating huge numbers of accounts. And another thing you need is you need to top up your balance on their website, smsgen.com or something. Uh, it costs about 19 cent per Gmail, I want to say, because uh, that's for the SMS code to work. That's just kind of a fee you have to pay if you want to actually have Gmails. So let's actually look around the bot. So right now we are on the generate accounts, which is kind of the dashboard, but we are going to go into settings first and I'm going to just talk to you about this. So first of all, you'll see the SMS gen API key and the clip test API key are blurred out. That's because that's what my balance is loaded up onto, and that's where you paste them. So if I press test, you can see I have $25 loaded in. You can also exclude countries from the SMS, so if there's any countries you don't want to use. I left that at random, and I recommend doing that. So you, we can look down the accounts tab here. So I've auto-assigned a recovery email when adding accounts, and I'll show you the recovery emails in a second. I then also remove the phone number after the account's created, so I can use the recovery because we will not actually have access to this phone number. Use first name and last name as email username. Very important. If you're big in raffle bottom, you'll know how actually significant that is to have a matching first name and last name in an email and also in your entry. That's very, very significant. And then stop when username's taken. Haven't got that ticked. Can if you want. Browsers. This is just how efficient you want to be, essentially. I've done two. The browser I've got hidden. And I've got keep profile folder of the browser required for open inbox and report failures. All that ticked. And then in the general, don't stop browser with the same proxy, obviously, otherwise they'll get clipped. And I've got wait between 10 to 20 seconds. Gmail, this is just stuff that's kind of, you don't want to be too fast. It's got to be a fairly slow process because it's got to be foolproof. Again, like Google are pretty good. So you might have to make changes. Obviously, PVA are happy to update if anything does change. There's quite a few updates. It's very simple. So I've got my theme in dark gray as well. You know, I quite like it. It's a nice dark theme. But now we move on to proxies. So again, this will be blurred out, but these are my proxies. You create proxy lists, you test them, you name them. It's very, very easy. I've just got some ISPs in there because I'm trying them out, seeing if they work. Before you can generate accounts, you need to input a bunch of recovery emails. So I have got a bunch here. And again, they'll be blurred out because I don't want you having my emails. But essentially, I've previously made Outlook emails. I've added aliases to them, all got them forwarded, and I put them in here. So 
you need to essentially have as many as possible, as old as possible, as good as possible. These need to be the best emails you have essentially and you can just use them as recovery. You honestly don't need too many of these but I've put loads in because it can't really do any harm can it. So you need to put in your recovery emails and that's kind of the first step once you've done all that. So once you've put in your proxies and recovery emails you're pretty much good to go as well as all the things in settings. You can go over to generate account and I'm actually going to clear all this here so if I press OK and we we need we select the country of the sms we want to use so we want to use obviously the cheap random country because it might lower the quality but i'm looking for bulk here you know if every one in ten's clipped i'm looking to make hundreds of accounts so we'll go with it if you're maybe doing one clicks you might want to use the more expensive ones because that'll mean they're a high quality gmail but i'm happy to just throw it in if i'm perfectly honest so there's 10 accounts here we can add them and as you'll see, it will add all these and it will give us a random first name, last name, birthday, gender. It will say the country we're using, so we're just using a random one. If you wanted to up here, you could specify a country, but I honestly do not care. I'm happy to just go with random country. We then have the username, the recovery email that we're using, as well as the password and then the proxy. So here we, we also have the provider that we're using, SMS Gen and then the status. Before you do that, you do actually need to assign the proxies up here. I've just got it to all proxies, so it automatically puts in the proxies. And we can go ahead and press start down here, just like that. And if we head over to the live log here, you can see it doing its thing. So like I said, it's running two at once because we did set that in the settings. So it's starting the hidden browser. Now it does take a fair amount of time, but you can speed this up in the settings. But slower is generally better when making these Gmails because you just don't want to be too suspicious. So I'm just going to let this run and it will probably take around a minute to two minutes to create them. You might get a failed one. And as you can see there, we just submitted our first form, but I'm going to speed this up until we actually create another one. So there you can see it's got the phone number for the country. So we're using DZ and AR there. So that's the country codes. So SMS Gen, the API, it will then get the text from Google and it will then send it to the bot to input in the box. It takes a while, there's so much back and forth, and as you can see here, it's waiting for the SMS code to come in. While this is waiting, we can actually go to additional tasks. This is where you can set up the IMAP, POP, all these other kind of different protocols for the emails. As you can see here, IMAP, POP, LSA. So you can set these up for the emails if you want to do additional protocols. You don't really need to do that in sneakers. You can do, however, there are inboxes that you can use that just kind of put them all in one. That's why I don't tend to forward because it's an easy way of linking Gmails together so they can get banned very easily. I just use an all-in-one inbox that can combine all the different Google accounts I use into one inbox. So there we go. So it looks like those phone numbers didn't actually work. So it reported the phone number to the SMS service and it's going to do that again. It's cool how it kind of does that on its own. It can move on to the next one, which is good. However, after three failed attempts, it will stop that task and start another one. That is why if we go to failed accounts, you see it's unable to get the code for the country three times. And that is why they would fail sometimes. But I'm just going to keep on watching it in the live log and see, you know, how long it takes for them to create. So there we go. Pretty much really quickly there. We've got the SMS code super fast. Um... You can see there, not much time at all. However, from when we started, it's, it's taken a bit of time, but it's pretty much just luck on which phone numbers you get. So we've got the code. It will then input that into it, and the Gmails would have been created. So we're now removing the phone number from it because we want to use recovery. Submitted second form. Again, we're doing the personalization choice. There we go. And we're pretty much done. We've done the hard bit. We've done the phone number. And yep, in a matter of seconds, we would have made two gmail accounts that quickly i mean it really is that simple all you have to do from then is scale so more running more tasks top up your sms gem with a uh, hefty balance because it's going to co cost a fair bit but obviously if you're selling these you can start firing these out you know buy multiple copies run as many as you can if you want to do it bulk i mean that's probably not the best for quality but if you just want to fire these out you could i mean how many could you reckon you can make in a day comment down below how many accounts you reckon you can make in a day if you run this as hard as possible and there we go accepted terms completed closing that's how easy it is to actually make an account i am now gonna stop running the tasks because we've created them all and yeah we've made two gmails if i go over to complete accounts you'll see they've added there so i've had this software i've used it very lightly i've used it for actually two days and i've created 23 accounts 
and I honestly, I, I want to say like I haven't tried, but I really haven't been paying attention. I've just kind of sat back and let it do its thing, used it for maybe like 30 minutes in total. I've got my head fully round it. You can too. You also have a clip tester in these complete accounts, which will actually test if they have been banned or whatever. Honestly, I think this is a perfect tool for anyone getting into sneakers, getting into raffle botting. As we all know, raffle botting is the future with more sites to go into it every day. This is the tool you need to, you know, create a raffle business, to sell them for one clicks, raffle botting, PVA tool. I mean, there's not much I can say. It literally is that easy. I can look at some stats here of how many I've created, but, you know, I've barely used this software. As all well. you can see, they're two days and I've created literally 20, over 20 accounts. The tool is super easy to use. I'm going to be contacting the people over at G Gmail PVA Create Tool because I'd love to help you guys get this. Currently, it is sold out on their website. You can put your email in and join the Discord. All links in the description. And they'll email you and also ping you in the Discord when sales do go live. So you can buy yourself a copy. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm quite interested in this stuff. I want to get more into raffle botting. And I think this is one of the tools that you literally need if you want to do it. I don't like to buy stuff from the people. I, want, I like to know how they do it. And this is how they do it. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in another one.